Welcome to your market update and charts of the day for today. It's the 4th of April 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, US markets finished generally higher overnight with only the Dow closing slightly in the red across the major indices. Uh, the Fed chairman did speak and warned of inflation remains stubbornly higher than desired, and that may slow down the time at which they begin to cut rates that's what the market had began to price in anyway but the ai story uh, and high yield stocks continue to help the market move higher u.s futures are slightly positive reinforcing that in early trading today and asian markets that are open are generally following that u.s lead we are seeing the hang saying and the chinese markets closed but the asx is trading up around about a half a percent the nikkei outperforming and European equity futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open this afternoon. So I'll pull back in the USD again for the second day on a row. And of course, gold was a major beneficiary. It was stronger again, hit 2300, which is trading at around now in the Asian session as it continued to break record highs. Copper had a spectacularly strong session, rose to 40 month highs. And looks as though it's continuing in Asia today as well. 428 is the next key level on copper. And all paused at resistance around October levels. Bitcoin paused. It pulled back a couple of days ago to around about 66,000. It's still around that level. But it doesn't look as though the buyers are coming back in yet. So we may see a test of 63,000 support, which if it breaches may precipitate some more selling. And of course, it is US Jobs Week. We've got the weekly jobs report due tonight with non farm payrolls tomorrow. Elsewhere on the data front, we've got Swiss CPI, European Services PMI, and PPI, and Fed speeches, all which may have influence on markets. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. We're starting with Paladin Energy Limited, and you can see it continues to push ever higher. Uh, we breached this high from mid-February and continue to push towards that 150 level in the first instance. You have to go back significantly, back to 2011 to see it last at this levels and possibly a move up to 160 is on the cards next. In the FX world, the Australian dollar is looking strong this morning. You can see here the Euro Aussie on the hourly chart. We put down to this S1 pivot at 164.43. We think we've got about a 30 pip move if we do close beneath this. It's one to keep an eye on. But obviously, we have got that European data out in a few hours' time. So bear that in mind in terms of your timing of entry and potential exit. But looking quite bullish for the Aussie dollar at the moment simply because of those rises in commodity prices. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.